So we now know that the service endpoints are used to connect your virtual machines to platform as a service based services in Azure. Let's understand why service endpoints must be utilized in corporate enterprise environments. The first point is improved security for your Azure service resources. VNet's private address space can be overlapping and so it cannot be used to uniquely identify traffic originating from your VNet. Service endpoints provide the ability to secure Azure service resources to your virtual network by extending VNet identity to the service. Once service endpoints are enabled in your virtual network, you can secure Azure service resources to your virtual network by adding a virtual network rule to the resources. Optimal routing for Azure service traffic from your virtual network. Today, any routes in your virtual network that force internet traffic to your premises or your virtual appliances, known as force tunneling, also force Azure service traffic to take the same route as the internet traffic. Service endpoints provide optimal routing for the Azure traffic. Endpoints always take service traffic directly from your virtual network to the service on the Microsoft Azure's backbone network. Keeping traffic on the Azure backbone network allows you to continue auditing and monitoring outbound internet traffic from your virtual networks. Simple to set up. Service endpoints are simple to set up with less management overhead. You no longer have to reserve a public IP address in your virtual network to secure Azure resources through IP firewall. There are no NATs involved or any gateway devices required to set up the service endpoints. Service endpoints are configured through a simple click on a subnet, so there is no additional overhead to maintain the endpoints. In the next video, let's look at the various Azure service offerings that support service endpoint services.